All right, guys, a lot of you've been asking about which focal length of a prime lens should you buy? And I get it, it's really confusing because there's just so many of them. And in this video, I want to answer, first of all, how to decide that, which one to go with. I want to give you as many examples how different focal lengths uh, look like and, and, and what they can do and where in which situations you can use them as well as I want to thank you for leaving all the comments and, and questions in the previous video comments what kind of uh, content you want to see and if you don't want to miss out the future videos where I post the content tailored for you don't forget to uh, hit that bell icon because that's the one that will tell you exactly when the video drops and by the way I drop the video every single week all right, enough of all of this. Um, and there are three main things to keep in mind when it comes to choosing your next prime lens. First of all, what lenses you already have and what lenses you plan to get. So for example, if you already have a 24 millimeter lens, it would not be probably the wisest idea to get a 30 millimeter lens because they're just so close in the focal length. The same goes if you have something like 60 millimeter, then maybe the 80 millimeter wouldn't be uh, the best as well. Um, what I would recommend is also to think in future. So if you are buying a mid focal length prime lens, let's say a 50 millimeters, then you can already think, okay, so the next one probably would get like an 85 and then a 35 or 24 uh, on a wide angle. Just to give you a tip, what you can do is basically get a trio. So if you're an APS-C shooter, you could get a 60 millimeter on the wide end, that would be a 24 millimeter focal length on a full frame. Uh, then you would get a, a 30 millimeter and a 50 millimeter. That basically covers you from all the ends, the, the wide angle and the kind of a, a mid-range, more universal kind of lens, the 30 millimeter. And then the 50 millimeter is more like an 85 on a full frame, um, which basically gives you that more zoomed in uh, look and just basically gives you a big coverage, big, just three lenses and you don't really need to go in between all of them. If you are a full frame shooter, 24, 50 and 85 probably wouldn't be my guess, but you know, everyone has their own style. Which brings me to the second point. What do you need this lenses for? For example, if you're a portrait photographer, probably you should be getting something like a 50 or 85 millimeter because that's what like a regular portrait photographer is, right? But if you are an astrophotographer, probably 85 millimeter will not be a good enough choice. So you would go with a wide angle lens, 20 millimeter and really a fast one, f1.4, f1.8, something like that. So it depends what you need it for. If you don't really know, if you're a beginner and you are kind of evaluating yourself and thinking, I don't really know, I, I like everything, you know, I like city shots, I like portraits, I like skies, I like landscapes, then if you would get one lens, then I would say probably a, a 30 or 35 millimeter prime lens, f1.4 or f1.8 is perfect for you because this is something, it's, it's very universal and just can use it in so many occasions and from there that's like the middle point because then you can you can think to yourself um, what do you like more you might like more the wide angle shots or more zoomed in shots and then you can choose which lens to go with next which brings me to the third point what is your style you know because what do you like i mean if you think about it you can do full body portrait with a wide angle lens. Some people like me, for example, if I would shoot models, I would definitely go with something like 85 millimeters and shoot more cropped in just from like their chest up um, and to have more zoomed in and have a really nice bokeh and so on. So one subject can be taken with several lenses. It can go from wide angle to more zoomed in. It depends on your style and what you want to achieve. As a beginner, you're probably not gonna know exactly what you uh, how you take the pictures and what is your style. So try and experiment with different kinds and just remember that one lens can be used in so many different cases, even like an 85 millimeter that I use in landscapes. You know, you never would think that a prime lens and an 85 would be used in landscapes. I use it all the time and I love it. So give yourself a chance to experiment. And lastly, if you don't have the chance to uh, try out the lens and you don't know what the focal length, how is it gonna look? Is you probably have a zoom lens, you probably have uh, a kit lens, I assume you have. And it, I know it's not gonna look the same uh, because of the bokeh and because of the shallow depth of field, but what you can do is simply take your camera um, and zoom it out to 16 millimeters and walk around without zooming in or anything, just zoom with your feet, 
walk around, take some photos, and it will give you the look of what a 16 millimeter lens would look like. Same goes to uh, 50 millimeters. Zoom in all the way to 50 millimeters and try to capture something inside your house, indoors, you know. You will see how much you have to step back in order to capture uh, an image or an object. So by that you can actually really precisely tell how the focal length will look like in your images and you can decide if this is something you want. Try it in different environments because for indoor use you definitely want something more wide. If you want to do sports or wildlife you definitely need something uh, more zoomed in if you want to use a prime lens for that sense. Um, and if you want to do portraits, as I told you, the mid-range, just try out with your uh, kit lens, see how it looks like, and then you'll be able to uh, purchase the lens that fits you the best. And just one last tip for you, don't go into extremes. Don't buy a fisheye 10 millimeter uh, crazy lens or 600 millimeter lens because, you know, you're not gonna use them that often. Um, go with something more moderate, as I told you, this trio or the mid-range, if you wanna start off, start with 30, 35 or 50 millimeters. It will give you a really good sense of what the prime lens can do. And from there on, you can adjust and go wider uh, or more cropped and find your style, find what you really like to take photos of and figure out your life and where to spend all that money. Ah, it's so expensive, unfortunately. But that's how the life goes. Tom Sirex here as always. Don't forget to um, keep on creating. And I see you all in the next video, guys. See ya, bye.